If there's a little accent in her talk, if there's a little wiggle in her walk, oh boy, that's my doll. A fantastic performer, a great seller of songs, a great storyteller in terms of songs, and just a great man. That's my doll. If you said that show business, and there's Frankie Vaughan, what an example to be able to give people. He was enormously successful over a 14-year period. He had something like 20 top 20 hits and probably 30 top 30 hits. If I were a tower of strength, I'd walk away, I'd look in your eyes, and here's what I'd say. Frankie Vaughan was one of the first pop stars I was ever aware of, and he was a huge record seller in the 50s and 60s. And I'd walk out the door. He couldn't have done any more. He couldn't have had any more success than he had. He was, he was great. He was one of the great singing stars that we've had. Behind the green door. Don't know what they do, but they laugh a lot behind the green door. When you walk in the garden, in the garden of Eden. With Whenever his name is mentioned, people always start with a smile and go, oh yeah, Frankie. And a voice in the garden, in the garden of Eden. Frankie was always gentle and nice. Um, we're lucky people to have known him. Hello, Dolly. This is Frank, Dolly. That stage was his home. No one could use a stage like my father. Take her out, balance. There's nobody really that's come along the equivalent to Frankie. Don't go away again. People who loved Frankie Vaughan still love him today. They still they still listen to his music. They did all idolize him and he used to have women throw themselves at him, but then again, I I thought what a compliment to me that my husband is desirable. And he really was number one. A day doesn't go by when I don't think of Frankie Vaughan.